Hey mom, I just baked like a massive tray of brownies in the washroom. Do you happen to have a plunger at home? A plunger? Yeah. You know, well, like go on Amazon. There's like, they can deliver anything, even on the same day. Anything? Anything, anything. Hey Kate, you gotta come over tonight. I just found out you can order anything on Amazon. So you know what that means. Okay, bye. Will here, welcome to the video. So Amazon seemingly has everything from electronics to handcuffs, whatever you need, they got you. They're well on their way to taking over the world and Jeff Bezos will pretty much be our official overlord. So what I did was I went onto Amazon and I purchased a bunch of food and fitness products that I've never tried before. We are gonna try them out. I'm gonna let you guys know if I think it's worth it and if I agree with the reviews. Okay, so we got three different Amazon products for breakfast. The first one we're gonna taste test right now is this package of uh, coffee from Keurig. It's like a donut shop favorites. So will my morning pick me up be a morning letdown? We will find out. Now I like a nice and dark brew, and these seem to be like a little bit of a medium house roast. What's a house roast? Usually house roasts don't taste that great. It's kind of hotel coffee-ish, but you know, just like other Colombian exports, some things have a little pep to your step. I can't go wrong with this. So this had a 4.6 star out of five rating. Would I agree? Not quite. It's not like, you know, rich and dark enough and like heavy. Okay, so now let's get into the cereal, which is I guess the star of the show for this meal. So it's called Jordan's Bursting with Nuts. Uh, definitely not something you should give your kids when they go to school, they will get suspended. So there is a lot of stuff going on here. There's roasted hazelnuts, Brazil nuts, almonds. We're gonna add another nut, cause you know, one nut, three nut, four nut, can't go wrong. Gonna add some cashew in here. Now I'm very curious to see how the nuts interact with one another here. Which one is gonna steal the show? Your mouth gets saturated with nuts. Jordan saturates your mouth. He wasn't lying, he's bursting with flavor. It's like, a te it's like a textural blitz. You get like the soft crunch of the almonds, the hard crunch of the Brazil nuts, and then these like granola clusters receive the milk. It does taste super healthy though. Like I feel like I just added five years to my lifespan. But calorie wise, you ain't looking too good. So, you know, other traditional like kid cereals, per three quarter cup, it's like 110 calories. This is per three quarter cup, 260 calories. So this had 4.6 stars out of five. I'm gonna bring it down to like a three because of the calories. I would never buy this again. I, I see it more as like a granola kind of situation you add on yogurt, not so much a cereal. Okay, next up we're gonna go with this, uh, what is it called? Simply Delish Instant Pudding. Instant Pudding, one of my many nicknames in high school. So it's keto friendly. Oh, it's like a mousse. It's like a mousse. It's like very, it's very sweet. It's good. And there's no, there's no like sugar added. It's made with stevia. Mmm. Definitely is something I'd see myself buying in my senior years. But as of right now, I don't know. Again, this was also a 4.6 stars. Would I agree? I mean, for what it is, I think I would agree. I, th I would give it a 4.6 stars. Okay, so that was breakfast. I would say this was definitely not worth it. I'd say the coffee, I mean, you could definitely get better. I wouldn't actually go online and order this. And this is not half bad because I haven't really seen any like all natural types of puddings other than like the fake like sugar-free jello kind of things. But this is pretty good. I recommend this one. Okay guys, so we're in the gym right now about to hop into a chest back and biceps workout. We're gonna be reviewing two different products from Amazon. The first one being a sauna suit. So it has a 4.2 star rating on Amazon. It's it will melt fat and it will make you sweat. So we know what we think about, you know, sweating does not make you burn fat. It just makes you lose some water weight. So you're not gonna lose fat by having this on, but I'm very curious to see how my workout is gonna be because I know people who sweat a lot when they work out actually do have really good workouts. So, and I don't really sweat much when I work out. So I'll see if this actually kind of helps me out in some way and warms up the muscle. And then the second thing we're gonna be reviewing, we'll be reviewing it in the point of the workout because you must be wondering, Will, where's the pre-workout? And that's why. 
I haven't even worked out yet. I've just benched the bar for warm up and I'm already starting to sweat. I think it's gonna be one of those days. That was one set of incline bench and the rows, and I'm heating the hell up right now. I'm on my way. Yeah, man, I'm on my way. Yeah, and I can do this all day, man. I'm on my way. Said I'm on my way. Yeah, I'm on my way. Yes. I tell you what, this sauna suit is attributing to some PRs. We're about like 50% of the way done the workout right now and so far it's going amazing. Like I hit a PR on the incline bench. It feels really nice being warm. I feel like being warm puts me more in the zone. But now it's time to review product number two, which are these caffeine bullets. So their slogan is a personal best in every pack. Like wouldn't that be the perfect condom slogan? So apparently a review said it has a very chemically taste, which is a welcoming relief for me because I love my Walden Farms and it's faster acting than caffeine pills. So 100 milligrams per chew. I can already smell the induced anxiety. So a lot of long distance runners actually take this as well during a race. So there it is. So I'm gonna carry on with my workout. I'll let you guys know what I think. So it's been taking me like five minutes to actually chew this thing and make it down my throat. And the more I'm chewing it, it kind of tastes like something that you'd like repair your boat with. Oh. Those caffeine pills are making like my, my stomach churn in the middle of that set. Like that was probably the worst thing that I have swallowed since last week, but oh my God, it is so chemically and it just kind of sits in your stomach. I mean, the one good thing is like my heart is going, but other than that, it actually like turns your will to eat completely off. You tell me what the deal, I'ma go ahead and tell you how I feel. I just gotta know, can we keep it real? Maybe I'm losing, I've been losing myself. Can you tell me what the deal, I'ma go ahead and tell you how I feel. I just gotta know, can we keep it real? Maybe I'm losing, I've been losing myself. All right guys, that is gonna wrap up the workout. This thing is great. I'm actually, I'm actually have to wear it tonight in front of Katie and Presser and finally break a sweat. But the workout was super good. And hopefully I can get this thing off, but I, I need some actual air right now. I will say that working out with this on, you know, it actually warms you up and it makes your joints feel really, really good. And I think that just shows you how important just warming up for a lift really is. Because I felt super warm and I felt stronger than ever. But at the same time, because I was so hot, my stamina during the workout dropped really, really fast. Like I had to drink literally seven of these to even just stay like in the game. And speaking of being in the game, these things, I have to give like literally a zero out of five. They're like the most disgusting thing I have ever tasted. All right guys, so just got out of the shower and now it's time to make some lunch. We're gonna be reviewing two different products from Amazon. The first one being this green curry chicken from Smart Eats. So I got a 4.7 out of five stars. And then this one here, which I'm kind of worried about because it got one star. So it's a it's a product of Toronto, where I'm from, made with passion. So one star, one star. So we're gonna see about that.
Okay, so we are gonna start with the green curry first. So just like in the bedroom, I am colorblind to curries. Green, red, yellow, I'll open up for anything, but we do all have our preferences and green is certainly my favorite. Um, so this did not require refrigeration. I feel like you gotta be suspicious of chicken that does not require refrigeration, right? So it's a little bit runny for my liking. And I mean, where is the meat? Show me your meat, boy. Like, okay. Smell wise, it, it does not smell like a product of Thailand. Oh, well, that chicken's got some bite. It tastes a bit goosey, if that makes sense. I've never had goose, but it's like, imagine what I would taste goose to taste like. Oh, that does not, it, that just tastes off. Like the actual like sauce is not bad. It's not bad at all. There's a lot of textures going on in here that are just not great. So for the whole package, it's 284 calories, 18 grams of fat, 16 grams of protein, which I think is a nice lie because there's no chance. There's probably like one ounce of chicken in here. Okay. So now let's move on to this uh, David's spicy potato mixture. So, you know, with the with the really low reviews in my history with David's, I'm not expecting you to taste all that great. I mean, smell wise, when you open the bag and you smell it, I don't know, I feel like I'm a domesticated house pet or something like that. It does not seem like it's meant for human consumption. It looks like mashed potatoes. But it does not taste like mashed potatoes. It tastes like a budget friendly something. Like a budget friendly something is what it tastes like. Let me try super setting some mashed potatoes in this. Oh man, these just both missed the mark. These are bad. 4.7 out of five stars here is pretty generous in my opinion. I wanna give this like 2.5, 2.5, yeah, 2.5. This, on the other hand, I don't know, man. Like one star is a bit harsh. I would say one star is like when you actually physically can't eat it, but I could probably survive if I was on an island with solely just this, I'd eat it. So I'd give it probably like a two and a half out of five. So two, two and a half out of five for lunch. It is what it is. Okay, so now we're gonna be doing some cardio. So I will say uh, that David's mashed potatoes were hard going in, but super hard going out, man. Like after I had that meal, I was just a freaking hose after that. It was just not a good experience. So definitely do not recommend those two items at all. But now we are moving on to some cardio. And for the cardio, we're gonna be doing some trampoline work. So this is a called Whamcos Trampoline. Uh, 4.6 stars out of five on Amazon. You know, it's gonna be a bounce, bouncy, fun, good time. Probably the second best thing I've bounced on all week. So I have a YouTube video all fired up, ready to go. And we're gonna do around 15 minutes of cardio and I'll let you guys know what I think. Okay, so it's time to grab the resistance bands now. So this thing comes with one on each side. So it's pretty much like a full body kind of workout thing. And I'm telling you right now, my calves are already on fire. I don't do much. I don't do much calf work to begin with, but it's definitely a different sensation here. Doesn't feel right. Okay, that's enough of that. Oh my God. I mean, if you, if you get bored of the treadmill, the Stairmaster, this is really, really good. But I, I feel like the tension is not enough to like replace actually lifting weights, but to get your heart rate going, to burn some calories, why not? At 4.6 out of five stars, a bit overrated to me. So I'd say I give it because it's fun, you know, just under four, 3.9 stars. Okay, so I'm here with Victoria and we are gonna do a little bit of an Amazon snack taste test. So, are you ready for it? I think so. I you don't really so. wanna eat this one, but- You wanna just get that one we'll over with the first? Team. Yeah, let's do that first. Okay, so the first snack we're gonna be going with is called Fried Sea Crispy Squid, a product of Korea. I think so. wanna give it a waft first before we- I don't think I wanna do that. You don't want to? No. Oh. I think we have to stop sniffing stuff before we eat it. <laughs> That's true for a lot of things, yeah. Oh, I can smell it from here though. Cheers. I don't find it very... It's fishy. very like oceany. I don't think so. 
I don't even like like good calamari, so that's why I was not. That's not that's not good squid, yo. We have to rate it. Yeah, out of five. Yeah. Five stars. What would you give it? One. I would. I would. I would, I would never hundred percent. Hundred percent agree. <laughs> One star on that. Okay. So. I mean, I'm, if you like a fishy taste and a chewy texture. Nobody does. Usually, you, you stay yeah. away from that. So we got some nuts and more spread. White chocolate and pretzel protein superfood. So usually I would try to find a canvas to put this on, but we we're just gonna go with a spoon, which I never usually do. My general rule of thumb is, like me, you gotta uh, spread me before you eat me. Oh! oh. That looks like quite the, the chunky oh, experience. Oh, I don't... It looks like it's just filled with oil. That's good. Really good. That's delicious. It doesn't even seem like it needs to be spread on anything. Yeah, it tastes like legit. Like, no, she's right. Absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's not. That's pretty much exactly like peanut butter. Is it? Yeah. I, I mean, go, I, I never eat peanut butter with a spoon. I eat that with a spoon. Yeah. I don't. I'm not having it. Either. Yeah. So we want to go with the moon cheese? Oh yeah. Are these che like Cheetos or is it just dried cheese? Like, I don't. I don't know. I'm more so like wondering. There's always a reason behind the company name, and it's called Moon Cheese. I think like Munchies. I was thinking about like, is there THC in it? Like, will we eat yeah, it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like Munchies. Get ready to enjoy a mouthful of magic. Sounds like something from my Harry Potter fanfic. I'm excited for this. Oh, this is it. This is it. Once you pop, you can't stop. Oh my God, that's so good. Mmm. So for the whole bag? Oh, the whole bag is 350 calories. And how big is the bag? Oh, <laughs> we never rated that out of five. Oh shit, we didn't. Um, I give it a. It's delicious, but I wouldn't ever really eat it. Yeah, I'm gonna I give, give it a three and a half. I would agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna both give three and a halfs and a one. Mm -hmm. And this, I want to give four. Yeah, I get. Yeah, I'm on with you. I'm with you on that one for sure. Okay, so the last snack of the day are these organic pops. So you know they're fruity. You know sometimes when you're feeling fruity, I don't know about you, I have the urge to just. Uh, suck on something there's so it's kind of weird how there's three pops and that's one serving like you go three in your mouth at one time i mean you can but it's kind of weird i'm just gonna what's your flavor it's kind of like i'm at a key party right now what's it gonna be there we go i got the mango oh lucky you i, I love got a good mango raspberry i'm not eating this on camera for the record yeah no Mmm. Ooh. It tastes healthy. But yeah, in a good I mean way. they are they are healthy. Those are solid. I'm gonna give I mean What is okay. I'd suck on these all day long. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, give, like I mean for what it is, I'm gonna give it a five. I give it a five. Yeah, five. I wow. really enjoy this. Yeah. Like we universally agreed on every single thing. Or you're just copying me. Yeah. One on the squid. Mm -hmm. What do we give this? Three point five? Yeah. Four. Five out of five. So for dinner tonight, we are headed to Whole Foods. I'm sure a lot of you guys know this, but back in 2017, Amazon purchased Whole Foods for just under $14 billion, $13.7 billion to be exact. So technically, going to Whole Foods is a product of Amazon. So I'm gonna go and pick a selection of some freezer stuff, some fresh stuff, and maybe a dessert, I don't know, depending on how I feel. And we're gonna do a little bit of review on the Whole Foods food. You gotta respect the fact that they offer half pies. So if you don't wanna go too overboard, just have half pies. I'll try the Valley Barbecue Tofu. All right, y'all, so for dinner tonight, we are bringing it outside to change up the scenery. So like you guys just saw, I went to Whole Foods and I got three things. The first thing that I got was from the frozen section from Amy's brand, it's a burrito. I've heard really good things about her taco, so we're gonna try the burrito out. So literally when you walk through the frozen section of Whole Foods, she dominates. Like literally every single thing, like 85% of the stuff is Amy's brand. And then on the side, you will notice it's a little bit less than when I got it because I've been eating it in the car. We've got some Brussels sprouts, one of my favorite vegetables. And then unfortunately they didn't have the mock chicken, which I think is like the best item in Whole Foods history. But we did get some Valley barbecue tofu right here. So this is gonna be my dinner and I have to get into this thing because every time I go to Whole Foods, I see this and I just gotta try it. So this is the bean and rice burrito. It is 240 calories for the whole thing. And this just looks 
fake and you know wrong and just not right. It's too perfect, it doesn't seem right. It looks like Play-Doh. Oh wow. Super good. Oh wow. All right, so next up we got the Brussels sprouts and I feel like my perception on Brussels sprouts has been you know, influenced by Franklin the turtle when I was a kid because whenever I watched him and he had dinner, he would get Brussels sprouts and he'd put them underneath his chair and he wouldn't eat them. So I was like, why would I like them then? But then my mom made me them and I'm like, holy God, these are like crack. So, you know, I can literally bring these to a movie theater and pop them like popcorn. I, lo I love these things and they're very trendy these days. When people think that the food is healthy because it's from Whole Foods, regardless of what it is, it could be like a pizza, and because it's from Whole Foods, it's healthy, you're simply wrong. That is not the case. And now into this Bali barbecue situation. So I will say, Whole Foods has nailed the tofu game. Like this stuff is unreal. It is sweet. It literally just tastes like like chicken nuggets with that like sweet chili Thai sauce on it. Amazing. So I give literally every single thing here. I give these two things a five out of five. This, I mean, definitely girth is to be desired here. So I give it maybe a four out of five. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna review today is the Jaws or size. I can't do an Amazon video and not order one of these things. I see about these things all over the internet and that they're a big like hoax and stuff like that, which I would tend to agree. This was $29.99 where you can just get something like this, which is the exact same thing for $1.99, depending on what gas station that you're at. So it's kind of cool. It comes with a little bit of a lanyard just in case you lose it or you want to increase your difficulty and give yourself a little bit of a choke. But, you know, so what you're supposed to do is, you know, put this in hot water, which we did, and then you just chew it for 30 seconds on, 60 seconds off and repeat and hopefully builds that, that nice big jawline and like the cheekbones and stuff like that. I'm gonna do some force wraps now. Oh, I'm feeling some hypertrophy, man. I mean, I think this is just a big joke. I, I actually don't understand why people buy this stuff. Just chew a big pack of gum and it's pretty good to go. So, I mean, it had a 4.4 .4 out of five stars, which is completely ridiculous to me. I, I have to give this literally like three out of five. You just bite on a belt if you need to do something like that. So I am going to wrap up the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next one.